Okay, we are live. Let's play this clip then. Hi, good evening viewers and uh, welcome today to our session. And uh, today I'm with a special guest. Uh, her name is Nurul Shahira. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Hi. <laughs> and we are, you know, doing this live from our virtual studio. And I'm actually in Taiwan. So this is, uh, I'm in quarantine. This is my hotel room. I just explained to uh, Shahira. And uh, yes. where are you located now, Shahira? Where are you, where are you, uh, you know, broadcasting from? In JB. Same oh, okay. goes to the past few months. I've been in JB. Just stuck okay. here. <laughs> I, I, I heard because, uh, you know, uh, I'm from, uh, you know, my parents are from uh, Johor Bahru as well. And then uh, there's a new generation generation of uh, kids, they call it JBC. You know? is, is that true? Oh, wow. What? <laughs> I've never heard of that. I thought it's just JB, you know. Okay, yeah. <laughs> What's, it, What's a C? <laughs> uh, Johor Bahru City, you know. I, I, okay, Aww. maybe. Or maybe, maybe you know that this is a big city. <laughs> oh, yeah. So how's, how's everything in uh, Johor Bahru? I miss uh, Johor Bahru very much. Oh, wow. Um, I, I'm not sure, actually. Because really? I've been in this house, just stuck in here, and been doing a lot of preparations um, for the past few weeks for this uh, World Space Week, right? And now I'm mm -hmm. just here, you know, just um, teaching and okay. painting. And sometimes I just go out to buy groceries and just go back in. That, that's it. Uh, but it has been raining a lot lately. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. I forgot to to intro to uh, our viewers. Uh, this is uh, you know our webinar for World Space Week 2021, and the theme for this year is Women in Space. And you know, uh, uh, Shaira is uh, you know a cosmic artist, something which is uh, quite uh, new <laughs> and rare, but she's trending. Uh, and she has a sort of um, a virtual art exhibition, right? In uh, yes. Angkasa, it's called. Uh, yes, it's called. Uh, Sri, what is it called? Sri Kanda Angkasa. What, what does that mean? Sri Angkasa. Sri Kandi Angkasa. Sri Kandi, yeah. Sri Kandi. Yeah. Yep. What, what, what does that mean actually, uh, that word Sri, Sri Kandi? Well, Sri Kandi is like a female warrior. Oh, okay. So okay, all right. Yeah. yeah. But it's in Malay. But I love how it has like, specific words for it. Sri Kandi sounds okay. more epic. <laughs> okay, all right. So, you know. Uh, before we go further, I, I made this video for her, so let's take a look at... Uh... <laughs> I'm so excited! This is a surprise, you know? <laughs> really? Uh, okay, here we go. viewers so they can uh, get a feel a bit of you know uh, the kind of art that you do right so yeah, if you want to you know, know but... more about my art you can go to the gallery to the upper as uh, virtual space uh, space art exhibition Canvas yes. Cosmos. <laughs> yeah i put the the, the uh, no sorry uh, it is uh, here you can go down to srikandiangkasa.com and uh, check out her latest artwork. So, okay, not to waste any more time. Sorry, you know, <laughs> I like to talk <laughs> no. a lot. I get off topic. Okay. Chill, so chill. maybe it's as a start nice. for the viewers uh, today, uh, maybe you'd like to, you know, uh, start off, uh, okay, we know you from JBC or Johor Bahru. Maybe you'd like to share a bit about your, you know, background and how you got started in uh, this uh, cosmic art. I'm very interested. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. First of all, thank you so much, Captain Faiz, for the Welcome. opportunity. Um, to be in this webinar tonight um and i would like to thank also to uh, space bio I, it's this is a good a way to connect with you guys because i just heard 
like um about space value but i've never been able to you know connect directly oh. but, and this is a good uh, opportunity yes. and yeah uh, my name is shahira as mm -hmm. you all know shahira stagiza <laughs> <laughs> i am known as shahira stagiza because i love to stargaze i've been stargazing ever since i was a, a kid like oh, seven okay. years old yeah i grew up in a rural area where that place is served with beautiful dark sky and mm -hmm. you can see the skies is uh, the sky is adorned by um stars which are, which you cannot really see especially when you are in city area right right now yeah. i mean jb yeah. yeah you oh my god the light pollution is just so terrible so heavily light polluted that you can't really see the dim stars you can only see maybe the planets mm -hmm. and of course the the moon Mm -hmm. but you cannot really see the stars maybe the bright stars yeah but sometimes um it is just you know gone but yeah, yeah back then I, when i was a kid i grew up in uh, in a place where stars is just everywhere it's just filled up the sky and that what inspired me to um mm -hmm. love astronomy so much and i started to collect this um uh, magazines that has uh news about astronomy Mm -hmm. and also the newspapers uh, which has uh, astronomy news on it and yeah that uh, i i've been carrying that passion ever oh, since okay. i was a kid and until i i go to high school and now i'm an adult i still have that passion and even though i um not from science background actually mm -hmm. i am not <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah i don't i didn't even study science stream when i was in high oh, okay. school yeah Right. And when I uh, I'm in college, I mm -hmm. continued my study in education in mm -hmm. Kassel, I teaching English as a second language, okay. which has nothing to do with astronomy. It which has nothing to do with arts as well. But you know, suddenly I, I become a space artist. It, it is all boils down to my passion for true, astronomy true. and arts. I've been painting ever since I was um, five years old. And okay. watching stars ever since I was seven years old. So mm -hmm. that's it. You you are looking at that years and years of passion. <laughs> hey, I, I, I would like to, you know, I, I'm very inspired. And I, I would like you to, you know, continue your, your excellent work because uh, I did too. Last time when we started off uh, Astro X, uh, you know, we did have a session where we took the kids, uh, we call it Astronomy Night, to Burnham River. Burnham River is about 100 kilometers north of uh, Kuala Lumpur. And it was like a private airfield. And you, you're right. You, over there, there's uh, no light pollution. I couldn't believe my eyes that, you know, they're basically shooting stars and stars that just every other minute. And, eh? How can this be true? And so maybe you can explain a bit uh, how that concept, that, uh, that, that pollution, you know, uh, affects uh, our, you know, usual viewing of the, the, the night sky. Well, light pollution is actually the effect when there are a lot of uh, people populating mm -hmm. certain area, especially what we can see now is in the city. And yeah. you know that when there are a lot of people, meaning a lot of uh, energy being used, mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. at night, you're using yeah. light to to illuminate your um, um, place that you live mm -hmm. or the workplace. Some people, they also work overtime, right? They just yeah. stretch out their working hours up until mornings. So they need that light to... Um, to you know just illuminate the place where they live and work so when a lot of uh, lights just being switched on and mm -hmm. a lot of people are living there that's where light pollution um uh comes out you know and light pollution is actually when excessive and light uh, light uh, being, uh -huh. uh, the light is being used uh, excessively oh, yeah. and mm -hmm. is un uh, not being controlled Oh, okay. And that's why um, light pollution happens. And especially in city, you can see this sky glow. Sky glow is yeah, the okay. effect from a lot of light pollutions coming from uh, in all directions, okay. especially when the light is shooting up. And uh -huh. we have glare, we have light trespass when the light is trespassing to other places. We have glare when the yeah. light is just um, shining into your eyes okay. uh, horizontally. Okay. And when the, all of that just um, in one uh, in this uh, one big area, there will be mm -hmm. sky. So that's so how does that... actually uh, drowns the light from dimmer stars. 
Okay. So how, how does that like uh, translate? Uh, you know, to your uh, how 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 did you you get started in you know translating that that or you know getting that inspiration from the the night sky to to the canvas? You know, that that's, could be an interesting story that you might want to share. Yeah, <laughs> it's actually very interesting <laughs> because when I was uh, uh, when I lived in dark sky area, I didn't okay. think about you know making those arts about uh, that related to space because. It's there. It's there for me to look at it. It's there for me to observe it. I can just, mm -hmm. you know, bring my telescope out and mm -hmm. go to the field or somewhere um, clear. Mm -hmm. I can set up my telescope and look at it. I don't have to draw it because okay. it's there for me to, to for me to observe it. But now I'm living in a city uh, mm -hmm. where it is heavily like polluted. I started to feel this, you know, feel disconnected with okay. the night sky how how what would you do if you feel disconnected and when you look outside you cannot see it you really want to see it so badly but you can't with your okay. eyes so i started to play around with my imaginations okay. and like um as we know that imagination is seeing with your mind so okay. i would like to see the night sky this uh, this space objects using mm -hmm. my imagination and i put it onto a canvas so that's how uh, space art is born from oh, okay. me. <laughs> I, I used to, last time in school, I I, I even, uh, I, I took arts and I even, uh, I went to, you know, like a, a took tuition from, uh, you know, uh, somebody to, you know, to 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 actually learn to draw. And uh, I, maybe you can show one of these, you know, like art pieces. How long would like, you know, something like this uh, take you to draw such a beautiful artwork there? Oh, wow. I see that you like this one. <laughs> but actually, this one is a view of Milky Way from this place, this um, dark sky place uh -huh. in uh, Semenanjung, Malaysia, which is in Pulau okay. Au. Okay, I, okay. No. I, I went outside and look at the, uh, when I was on, uh, on this Pulau trip, and mm -hmm. uh, at night, it's time for people to just rest, right? Because after right. a whole day of um, snorkeling and diving and swimming, you just want to rest. But I go outside and I mm -hmm. look up and I see this this white patch and it looks dusty and cloudy. And I was like, oh, wait a minute. This is the Milky Way. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I just got oh, so mesmerized by it. Mm -hmm. And when I got back, I just want to paint it i want to it, even though i already captured a video of it uh, but okay i want to express it in my okay. own way in my own perspective so i painted this one this is actually a milky way uh, from pulau Ao, and i uh, use watercolor this one, oh, I use okay. watercolor. yeah this one is using watercolor amazing because uh, i think you have a uh, you have uh, she has a uh, for 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 the viewers you know shaira has uh, a youtube channel and she also has like a lot of uh adventure sports and you know uh, videos right vlogs and i think one of them is pulau uh what was that aur aur oh my god yeah. my <laughs> it's a furthest <laughs> island uh in semenanjo okay, island. Right. yeah so you know maybe uh because um uh you know uh, i found out that uh, you're an educator right right now and yeah. maybe uh uh, maybe uh, for those uh, you know uh, people who like to follow in your footsteps, you know maybe uh, maybe you can explain some of the or if there is any opportunities for you know for Malaysia for Malaysians out there you know who, who inspired by uh, your artwork and uh, your your uh, path uh, towards uh, you know the cosmic art you know maybe you have some some you know something that you want to share you know to, to drive them or to motivate them to to take up this field. Sure. Well, I, like uh, Captain Fai said, I am an educator, right? Thank so I, I work full time as educator. However, um, being a space artist is actually um, not really part time. I can't say part time because I'm doing it like every day. It, it's in okay. it's in me. When I wake up, I want to make arts. When I wake up, I look at the pictures of um, uh, like uh, in Hubble or NASA. What I want to draw today, what I want to paint today. So I cannot say that it's part time. It's okay. it's my life. It's it's okay. it's it, it becomes something so big in my life. So. Mm -hmm. In becoming a space artist, uh, if uh, there are artists out there who are inspired mm -hmm. by my works and wanted to be a space artist, yeah, mm -hmm. sure, you can, you can do that while you are 
uh, doing your work uh, while mm-hmm. you are pursuing your studies, you can be a space artist because I believe that in everyone, there are artists in them because humans, they like to make stuff. They like to, they are creative. They are mm-hmm. imaginative. We are imaginative uh, being. So uh, I believe that everyone has the artists inside them. So awesome. if you have passion in astronomy and you feel like, oh, wow, I'm not taking any uh, courses in astronomy. Uh-huh. Or I don't have the opportunity to study um, in this field. Well, you can pursue it in by paving your own way. You pave your own way and you know maybe take up uh, the creative side of astronomy. Like me, I become a more of a visual space artist because oh, okay. I'm putting it on canvas, right? On okay. canvas, on paper. Some people, they also become a space musician. We have a space oh, okay. musician. Yeah, I, I know this uh, space musician. He also advocate for dark sky. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, he's from Hong Kong. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, no, I forgot his name. <laughs> I always, yeah, okay. I always yeah, forgot his name. <laughs> Exodus, <laughs> yes. Exodus CL Sit. Yeah, his name is Exodus. Okay. He is an okay. amazing astronomer, a dark sky advocate, and also a space me uh astron astro- he make astronomical music. Amazing. Okay. And but, there are uh, people who also make animations. And mm-hmm. you know, you can become a space animator, making videos about uh astronomy and space. A lot of ways, a lot of creative ways you can express your passion. Are, are you interested to, to to become an astronaut and, and go to space? Because, you know, uh, before this, uh, Yusaku, I think Mizawa had a, an uh, uh, open uh, application for... Did, did you take part in that? Yeah, because, I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of the finalists are, you know... Uh, so you, you would strap yourself into a rocket and, you know, shoot yourself into... <laughs> To go to the around the moon, would you? you I would. would. You <laughs> oh my god, I would. <laughs> you would? Okay, okay, that's fine. Right. I, you know, I, I right. can't. I, I can't possibly do that, or I won't become okay. a space artist anymore. I'll be that rock floating in <laughs> space. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, we'll take a, a short break here, and uh, we'll we'll where's uh, our <laughs> our video, and we'll we'll come back <laughs> after these messages. <laughs> All right, and we're back. <laughs> okay, and anyway, uh, you know, in uh, in tune with the, this uh, year's uh, World Space Week theme, which is uh, Women in Space. Uh, so recently, there's uh, been a lot of uh, like, uh, how do I say, space tourism or and a commercialization of uh, people going to space. You know, becoming astronauts. And uh, one of them, uh, I think, I, I shared with you is uh, Dr. Cyan Proctor. I tried to contact her, of course, uh, you know, maybe she, she will reply, you know, and, uh, you know, I'm very intrigued. They were part of this, uh, for the viewers that don't know, they were uh, part of the Inspiration Four mission. It's the first ever civilian uh, space flight where, you know, they they basically pick only civilians, you know. So, you basically, uh, it's a game changer where they're trying to say that, you know, you don't have to be a, a professional or a trained astronaut. And, you know, you or me, we can eventually go to space. And... Uh, so this Dr. Simon Proctor, you know, she she in, is into the arts, and you know, she has a a video on YouTube that shows that you know she was drawing a couple of art pieces, and one of one of them because you know last time uh, people used used to say how do you you know you write in a space when you know the pen needs to be pressurized when the Russians they just use a pencil, you know, maybe uh did you did you get a chance to to watch uh, her video showing about uh, watercolor in, in space? Yeah, 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 I I watch her video. It's very mesmerizing. I watched one of uh, one of her video where she painted this um beautiful image of um the dragon. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and also this woman uh, on mm-hmm. Earth, and then there's okay. rainbow, just the ray of light, colorful yeah. ray of light, yeah. and she's using my favorite medium. Oh my god, I, I was so excited uh, when I saw that video. It's watercolor. I, yeah, watercolor is just, is just my forte. I okay. love water watercolor. Even though I'm uh, right now, I'm practicing using oil and also acrylic and also digital. Okay. I can I, mm-hmm. uh, I can use um uh, these four mediums, but my mm-hmm. favorite is watercolor. So okay. when I look at it, oh my god, it's watercolor in space, <laughs> and then she's using this um uh pen that you uh-huh. can load uh water in it. 
-hmm. and she was just you know experimenting with it uh, uh, will it work will it work in space and actually work nicely and she dip it into this um watercolor palette which is mm -hmm. uh, with metallic color i love that metallic yeah, color. yeah 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 really yeah. yeah you saw that yeah. right yeah yeah that's <laughs> and right <then laughs> she, she made it so simple like she she even um she drew using the, uh, the pen right she's using yeah. pen and also she painted it and it looks so beautiful because usually you would sketch up using a uh, pencil but you can't really do that because the it, ha it will give some trouble life if the uh the lead uh, just flying floating uh, around yeah, right? the, yeah yeah so, so you know uh, she used a pen mm -hmm. i would never imagine myself like sketching with a pen <laughs> oh no <laughs> no <laughs> i can't do that <laughs> maybe if i'm using a drawing pen but just okay. uh, if, it, if that pen is not specialized for drawing i mm -hmm. would never <laughs> <laughs> i can't i'm just that okay. i'm just that um scared and just not okay. not so confident so that thing was a specific function for growing but okay. she she just do it and just expressing her imagination and yeah. it's so beautiful and when she's using that metallic color oh wow just very, very nice yeah metallic paint that they have huh? i think yeah. you know i think space x also helped develop all this you know <laughs> yeah it's well an art kit specialized um for artists to draw and paint in space how cool is that <laughs> yeah, yeah it's cool so yeah coming to that are you working on uh, like any uh you know how how often do you work on art pieces you no know, are you are you is there a, a art piece that uh, that you're working on right now and is you know are you, because you you like uh, you you mentioned just now advocate for dark sky maybe uh you can share a bit about uh you know to the viewers you know they might not know uh, or even to me, you know, what what is this this dark sky concept? Uh, you know, or this association, or you know, promoting this uh, movement. All right, uh, thank yeah. you for the question, Captain Faiz. <laughs> yeah, I re I really excited when I get to talk about dark sky. Oh, because... Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, I'm advocating for dark sky Malaysia and International Dark Sky Association. Okay. So, uh, dark sky Malaysia and uh, IDA is mm -hmm. advocating to um, fight light pollution to okay. reduce light pollution and to give mm -hmm. awareness to people about light pollution and preserve dark sky where they gazette these um places uh, which are not uh maybe uh have minimum light pollution and work on making sure that it is not polluted any further mm -hmm. and um making this place uh dark sky places Okay. they have dark sky park um uh, they have dark sky it, it basically these places where they reserve for okay. only for dark sky oh, okay. so um yeah there are a lot of advocates we have advocates so, who um making communities and mm -hmm. uh dark sky malaysia is also uh, like um working together with ida okay. and uh, it is well what special it is it's in malaysia and okay. it is founded by emma uh, Emma, okay, okay, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I know Zaleha, Emma. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> she used to volunteer for Astro X. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that yeah was she's growing now. Day. Yeah, that's Love right. That's for right. Dark Malaysia. And um, Malaysia soon is going to have uh, our own Dark Sky place. Okay. Uh, so where, where is this designated dark, dark Sky location? Uh, would you know or have, has it been designated uh, in Malaysia? Yeah, it, where uh, it's... Um, it's in the process uh, oh, okay, to be designated. Right. Yeah, uh, okay. in Sabah. You know Sabah. I'm sure, I was just it's, gonna say. I'm sure it's gonna yeah. be Sabah. <laughs> I mean, Sabah is blessed with dark yeah, sky, yeah. beautiful dark sky, beautiful island, beautiful mm -hmm. mountainscape. Everything is perfect there for those who like adventures, like nature. If you live there, it will be heaven. <laughs> yes, that's right. You know, I I, I love Sabah. You know, I. I I actually, uh, anyway, that's a long story. I, I, I when I climb Mount Kinabalu, I realize uh, the beauty of nature. Before that, I'm just a city boy, so you know. <laughs> oh wow! Well, yeah. I would love to, to, to hear more on that. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can we can talk further. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and you know maybe um we can we can uh, go on to some of the you know uh, other questions I wanted to ask you, like uh, maybe um if uh what are you know uh some of the advantages you know uh early on maybe we didn't get to to that for you know you already inspired somebody 
you know, uh, our new generation to take up cosmic art. And you know, what are the advantages that, you know, that they, that they can have, uh, like, in this field uh, that you have enjoyed? Maybe you can share that, uh, you know, to them. Well, um, first of all, they are able to express their passion in the astronomy mm-hmm. and space, like I said. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, art is a way for you to make physical representation Thank of you. what you live, of what mm-hmm. you imagine, mm-hmm. and as what people back then has been doing. And mm-hmm. space art is actually not new. It's okay. It has been going around for as long as we are human. Because mm-hmm. human back then, uh, during the prehistoric time, you know mm-hmm. that they make these um, cave paintings, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there are cave paintings that indicate um, these people, the, the, the human from prehist- uh, uh, in prehistoric era, mm-hmm. they already have the knowledge they already have this imagination towards the night sky. They already connected okay. those dots, the the stars in making these images. Okay. Yeah. So um, and then and then before photography, mm-hmm. what do we have? What do those astronomers have to to record uh, their observation, their findings? Guess, of course, yeah, just drawings and paintings, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. So it is very important, like. Back then, astronomers and artists worked together, mm-hmm. or the astronomers become artists themselves to to record the observation mm-hmm. and visual visualize the natural phenomena that they've seen because they they have no way of telling people if it wasn't because of drawings, True. if it was it wasn't because of uh, this uh, this way of visualizing their observation, right? It has been going on for a long time so that's uh one of the uh, advantage you can express oh. you can record your observation you mm-hmm. can yeah basically visualize whatever okay. you have in your uh in, uh in your mind of what space can be okay. because um like the astronomers they have okay. data they have okay. data they have their findings however they need artists to visualize those data so that it is um, they can play around more with uh, their findings. Okay, and all right. This this um, can be proven when the astronomers they make mm-hmm. observation of, uh, for example, they made this observation on black holes, right? Oh Some yes, okay. Black holes they can't see because of the mm-hmm. interstellar extinction because okay. there are just maybe some things that hinders them from seeing okay. the black hole directly but they can still see the effect around the black mm-hmm. hole maybe the gas and dust that surrounds the black hole even though they cannot okay. see they can see the effect so based on those effects they can they gather the data and they will okay. tell the artist like okay. how would it look like okay and the artist will visualize it and All the right. special thing is that the artists also have their own perspective in their mind, not just the astronomer. They, they get the data from the astronomer. The astronomer also have their visualization, but the uh-huh. artists also have their own visualization of that black hole. So oh, this becomes a beautiful piece of art, which has this scientific, uh, uh, this um, accurate scientific uh, theory as well, which oh, is man. beautifully made. A piece of art, okay. but but you know you know for for Malaysians you know parents you know if we have uh, children and they say oh, you know mama papa I want to become a cosmic artist so uh, you know is there um, it could be a sensitive question but you know okay you are you know doing an exhibition how do you monetize you know or do you sell these art pieces now everything's virtual huh? uh, you know maybe you can explain a bit more on that uh, you know I'm quite interested to find out <laughs> or is it you know like you say is it something that you don't decide or it can be a full time job uh, how 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 is that oh well um if you want to be a cosmic artist uh that you want to monetize from it Mm -hmm. you you have to follow the footsteps of other artists as well like how artists begin they will have to um they will have to show themselves that how uh, their art's worth right you have to you have to show people that my art is worthy and you know, it's it's also business, uh, Captain okay. Faiz. It's also uh, yeah, business. that's right, that's right. Yeah. That's, that's where we're trying to get. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah right. it's also business. So you gotta show people that um, this art, people want it, you want it. <laughs> so yeah, it, it, if you want it, you want my piece, you want my my uh, artworks, you gotta buy it for me. If you want this, um, 
you know, ay tangan ni. <laughs> yeah, got it. Got it right from me. <laughs> yeah. So it's also about business, how you portray yourself, how you uh, promote yourself, um how you, you show yourself to the public. Like um you got to you got to have personality as well. You can't just mm-hmm. show your art. It you are not just your art. An artist is not okay. just uh, the art. It is also them as a person. Like you got to nice. show yourself as a person. Like what do you know? What is the message you're trying to convey behind your arts? So having meaning in your arts will make it more valuable. Like nice. how I put meaning in my arts is that um, I want to advocate for dark sky and I want to okay. bridge astronomy and art. Um, okay. So that's one of the way it's much like promosikan, like you, how you yes. promote yourself, you know? Right. And it is very important because what we call branding, uh, branding lah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. So, but like, uh, uh, you know, because, I learned that. Yeah, because we have uh, one of, if not aware, one of our angkasawan uh, finalists. His name is Bostami. He, you know, I, I really like him. He's really cool. You know, you know, artists like yourself and him. You know, uh, they have this, uh, this certain aura, right? So, you know, he, he draws a lot. Uh, he, I think he also works for Independent X where, you know, he designed the, the rover and his artwork. Now he's doing uh, art twists. He's translating uh, like uh, he's, you know, combining, collaborating with international artists to put it on a watch. So, you know, you can have a, a nice uh, timepiece, uh, you know. Oh, yeah. Of- oh, I saw that. Yeah. Yeah, Amazing. That's- yeah. I was like, yeah. Who's, who work is this? I, I yeah. believe that this... This is a work of a space artist as well. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. Both What's time, astronomy yeah. related? Uh, <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Yeah, that's Yeah, so, talking about collaboration, I also uh-huh. collaborated with... Uh, right now, I'm working with a film producer. Okay, uh, wow. A, okay, you can share more on that. Okay. Yeah, he, um, his name is Sri Ramuragi. He okay. worked on Dark Sky um, film documentary. And mm-hmm. um, he before this, he worked on... Um, I forgot the movie. Oh no! <laughs> see, okay, no I'm alive. <laughs> but now uh, he's working on uh, another uh, film uh, documentary. Mm-hmm. It's uh, also related to Dark Sky, and okay. I get the opportunity to work with him. And oh. right now, I'm um, working on a painting, which mm-hmm. uh, will uh, deliver the message of Dark Sky, and this time um, based on his hometown. So uh, I hope that. Yeah, he's working on it. And we are planning. Sorry, we are planning to launch it. Um, we are planning to uh, launch it, launch the painting first. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you'll get to see the painting first before oh, okay. the documentary. No, because, because uh, you know, I think maybe Dark Sky needs some, uh, some, uh, you know, uh, like a messaging or branding, like you say, forward because. Uh, the first thing when it comes to mind, dark sky it sounds very, you know, you know, when you say dark sky, it sounds like dark? something evil or, you know, <laughs> or sinister, you know, you know, yeah, you need, you need, yeah, you need, you need some, uh, you know, people like you to, to really promote it, you know, because, you know, uh, and I, I heard that the uh, dark sky uh, movement is really gaining momentum in, uh, in Malaysia, right? So yeah. So how, how, how is it, uh, the, the movement around the, uh, the world, is it uh, worldwide, globally, or how, how is that? Maybe... You can explain a bit more to the, you well, know, to people who don't know Dark Sky, me as well. <laughs> Very like, oh, okay. <laughs> well, first of all, I would like to tell all of you that that you you can actually see more light in the dark, more natural light in the dark. Okay. Because um, uh, I talked to uh, the film producer. He's also okay. uh, a part of uh, International Dark Sky Association. Uh, he's okay. also an advocate. He said okay. that when he went to this... Um, uh, desert. He went to the desert okay. in US, okay. and he filmed. It was like I, I'm not sure, but a hundred kilometers away from civilization, okay. and it was alone. It mm-hmm. was filming that uh, that uh, that night sky, that mm-hmm. portal one dark sky. Wow, mm-hmm. amazing, pristine, beautiful, clear dark sky. He okay. said that the light from Milky Way casted shadows. I mean crazy how you can you think that the stars look so dim in the sky but yeah. actually can cast shadows it's yeah. totally amazing and yeah because of these advocates they yeah. are passionate people captain they are passionate yeah. people they they are very committed in um 
protecting dark sky they want to bring back our heritage because okay. the night sky is uh is the thing that connect us to our ancestors back to thousands of years ago because the sky that we're seeing right now is not much of a difference from what a people from a hundred right. years ago see so yeah. may, uh, maybe if a uh, human back then they built um buildings or monuments or uh -huh. piece of art it will crumble it will be destroyed right eventually over time but the night sky it's not changing it's just there it's true, not true. really much change maybe precession maybe we have yeah 26 yeah. every 26 thousand years we have precession right so okay. making the uh there will be a bit of shift but not really much of a difference so that a uh, thing that connect us so that's what this advocate is trying to protect and bring back to the people and nice. yeah so that's the thing that um makes it uh makes dark sky movement trending mm -hmm and also uh, growing it's because mm -hmm. of the people so, so can i people. like person like me can i can i join the dark sky association or movement in that sense yeah oh, <laughs> oh my god anyone we would, oh, we, we would yeah. love to have you no, we, wow. we, gotta tell the, we gotta tell the viewers okay anybody's interested you know in astronomy especially in dark sky you know we should uh uh look you up right and uh send you an email right in that sense or yeah well, i should have uh, you know put on the dark skies uh email or you know website down there because you know uh for me i'm a pilot so okay when i fly at night you know sometimes i will switch off the whole cockpit it'll be really dark and you know uh, i don't want to make you jealous at the window you know and and you know because you know it's, it's almost close to the age of space to me you know and i see like okay i'm really uh you know, immersed in this whole experience. And uh, more often than not, uh, especially we fly during winter, uh, we will fly uh, on the northern uh, region, very close uh, to the North Pole, and we will get uh, uh, this uh, aurora borealis, you know, this uh, you know, the dance oh, in the sky wow. and we, the light, and we will go right through it. And, you know, uh, maybe, <sighs> but we cannot photograph it because, you know, I, I maybe I can, you know, interpret it next time, you know, maybe I got to pick oh. up my water coloring again. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, you should, you know, illustrate it. Uh, oh, that yeah. would be awesome. I, I would, you know what? <laughs> yeah, maybe <laughs> yeah. if I if I were with you that time, I can see as well, you know, just paint it <laughs> right away. I, can, I, I only know how to draw a tree, that's what I learned to draw. <laughs> I need it's to okay. learn to draw a that's sky. That's a good start, that's a good okay. start, a tree. Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, grow from that. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> all right, all right. And, uh, you know, we're, we're already, uh, uh, wow, time flies talking to you. Okay, very comfortable. There's some, before we go to the next uh, few questions, uh, there's some maybe comments here. I think I, I have it just now. This is... Um, Hey, it's my Ooh, classmate. It's my uh, classmate. Okay, your friend. Hello. Uh, thanks for viewing in. Yep, and Hello, also... Constance. <laughs> How about this? Uh, oh, it's the same guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's a big fan of yours. And then we yeah. also have uh, my Shari mom. Hum. Oh, oh your mom. Oh, mom. I Thank you for mom. being mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> Hi, ibu. <laughs> ibu, terima kasih tengok. <laughs> where, where is she? Uh, is she in Johor Bahru as well? She's in Kelantan. I'm from Kelantan actually. Oh, you're from Kelantan. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is in which part of Kelantan are you from? um i'm from kota baru oh, okay. yeah but the the place where i um grew up the the rural place with dark sky is in kuala krai oh okay okay yeah, it's, it's pedalaman lah, rural area okay that's good oh interesting i didn't know you were from uh, kota baru okay interesting <laughs> <laughs> and also uh we have a woman in aviation Myat. oh okay they they like it and <laughs> okay this is uh, shukran oh your your yeah, number geez. one supporter <laughs> yes, he says uh, that uh, you know he made a comment that you are taking over World Space Week. You are everywhere. You are trending. So you know, <laughs> it's very <Thank> interesting. You, <laughs> <laughs> uh, good, good, good. Okay, so um, you know, coming up to the end of the session, maybe uh, what are your you know find out your aspirations uh, for you know, the future of women in the Malaysia space industry? Because you know, space industry. Uh, it has a lot to do with uh, you know space education to me space commerce and we're trying to you know 
basically propel or forward the the space movement or and, and the community and that's why we have this world space week so uh you know what are your aspirations for for the future women you know what, what like what would you you know uh tell them or what, what's in your in your your heart right now in the sense so um maybe this one is not specifically for women but okay. i am a woman so okay. uh, it can be I, uh, for me, I aspire to bridge astronomy and art because we can see that uh, people have this um, negative perception of <laughs> this harmful stereotype, stereotype surrounding uh -huh. arts and science. Um, when science, they think that, oh, science stream is too uh, complicated, it's too hard. <laughs> when science is just all around us right meanwhile arts they think that oh art it's easy you just sketch and you know use your hand and it's already there you know <laughs> these stereotypes are very harmful and i don't want people to think that i don't want people to think that it is easy but mm -hmm. i don't want people to take it as oh it's too hard i can't do it okay. i want people to see it as something that is approachable accessible everyone mm -hmm. can explore it and this, so if you are seeing this, the stereotypes of being easy and hard, when we combine it together, it will mm -hmm. be much more approachable to people who love, uh, who, who want to approach um, astronomy and mm -hmm. also in the same time uh, practicing arts. If they are practicing, okay. practicing arts, they can put more meanings into uh, their arts. And I believe that when you combine uh, astronomy or any, any field of science, you okay. will get uh, more meaning in your arts. You can put more oh, meaning okay. in it. And I also actually um, uh, aspire to bring Malaysia like further uh, okay, in yeah. its arts. Yeah, because yeah. it is something. It I see that Planetarium Negara also uh, have this Planet Kids uh, about space arts, right? Yeah. So uh, those are for kids. What about adults? What can oh. they do? Because um, usually competitions uh, are always focus on kids, right? I'm not saying that um, adults should not, uh, adults shouldn't, um, I mean, adults shouldn't enter any competition, but maybe not mm -hmm. competition. Maybe can they can just, you know, express themselves because maybe they have that passion in them. Yes, yes. But it just um, buried because they become an adult. Yeah. You know, but because, you know, I, think, I see most of my friends who are adults, uh, the one that are uh, painting, they like to paint uh like maybe uh scenery the you know the golden gate bridge in uh San Francisco, things like that so you know you maybe we you can you know we, we can share some of your art pieces but you can share like, it would be a good idea to you know uh, share some of your work so uh let's let's take a look so that you know people can get a, a better feel of you know uh your ah this one is uh looks like the i think i read it, it looks like the van gogh uh painting right yes. you, you wrote something about it yeah, this one okay, is Pleiades. a bit about this artwork? This one is um, Pleiades, or we call it Seven Sisters. Mm -hmm. And I actually um, imagine the star cluster. It's mm -hmm. a young star cluster in form of uh, Van Gogh style, which mm -hmm. I want to emphasize on movements. Because when you look at the stars, maybe you can see it twinkling, but mm -hmm. it is just that, it's static. So, the stars are alive it has movement it's alive it's it's growing it's evolving so that's what i'm trying to express in that painting using the uh technique the um dot techniques okay, okay. right um impasto uh, okay. or um uh, one of the technique in art is called impasto okay. so um van gogh actually used that uh technique a lot in his arts and mm -hmm. one of it in uh, one of his uh, work, uh, Starry Night, and mm -hmm. Starry Night Over the Room. Yeah, th those two are my favorite. Of course, yeah, it's this, actually this very, very, very nice. And very nice. Popular. I like it very much. Sorry, so, I, yeah. I, 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 I don't know how I, we're supposed to put it like side by side view, you know, but <laughs> it's just covering my faces. But never mind, you know, I let the art speak for itself, you know. And, the Pleiades uh, is actually very popular. <laughs> if you I ask us, uh, people who love astronomy, they would know Pleiades. <laughs> Yeah. So, you know, will people, you know, your, your pieces, are they digital? Will people be able to purchase them or uh, how? How, how, how? How does that work? How, um, like, I say, like I mentioned, how do you monetize that, uh, your artwork in that sense? But actually, I sell my artworks to those who really want it. 
Okay, for, those who, right. for those who really see the meaning in it and they can okay. approach me and surprisingly there are a lot of people have been approaching me and okay. and i able to sell it um right. does it have to buy uh, my price ah? okay i understand, I understand. <laughs> I said, no, because, uh, <laughs> you know they say artists you know uh misconception when they die their value goes higher right we, we don't do it until then right we need to, to have yeah, a i don't want to do that <laughs> I don't right. care about the money anymore if I die. <laughs> so yeah. you, find, you should find the value when I'm alive. <laughs> I understand, I understand. <laughs> All right, let's look at this this art piece. You know, this, I, oh, is uh, you know, has a uh, maybe you can interpret it. You know, when I look at it, oh, it's a uh, you know, uh, these are these are all on exhibition. But you know, I picked four the, the ones that caught my eye, and maybe you can explain more about this one. Looks wow, so I'm nice. glad you like this one. Okay. <laughs> it's called Heart Nebula. Okay. Um, heart nebula and fish hook nebula, but fish hook is not the highlight here. Uh, okay. The heart nebula is the highlight here, and okay. it is actually my first attempt, my mm -hmm. first attempt in making uh, nebula arts using oh. watercolor. So I'm actually oh, yeah. at, uh, experimenting with this painting, and I'm glad it turned yeah. out well. Yeah. You know what? People would say that oh, experimenting meaning that it's cheap. It's uh, <laughs> no, it's worth less. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. You are looking at my progress. All of my paintings are my progress, my growth, okay. and my uh, the process of learning. You are looking at me. When you are looking at a painting, you are looking at me. You are looking at the artist. The artist Growing as an artist, growth. right? Yeah, yes. as an artist, you are looking at her growth. You are looking at her life. You are looking at her time, energy. That's why I... I that's why even if it's uh, my first attempt, it doesn't uh, doesn't mean that it is uh, less in value. No, I'm just I saying that. Yeah, <laughs> but it's my first really, attempt. It is really nice. I so, like so, it. So excited working on this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let's see some. You have you getting uh, some comments now? Okay, we have uh, uh, Nurul Ain. My little so sister. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, wow, okay, you got, you got to good, good. Worst way to is good for you. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, we have uh, it says uh, love my friend. Love you. Okay, your space. She's uh, an artist. Work. Okay, Akmal. All right. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in. And says yeah, she's uh, an artist love. as well. She okay. loves astronomy she loves your as well. Your space art, Shaira. I, I still working on it. Oh, okay, good. And uh, you know we can we can share. Let's go on to this. Uh, let me see where is the the next art piece that we want to share. Uh, this one I think I showed you early on. Wow. Well, I actually have something new here. You want to see? <laughs> okay, sure, sure. Okay, I hide this. Ta da! Wow. <laughs> let this let me give a, a big, bigger view of you. Let me see. Is that does that work? Let me see. Uh, no, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you gotta put me uh, uh, on your side. Oh, I whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I, I put you side oh, by yeah, side. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this one. You recognize this, Captain? Uh, what do you mean by do I recognize this? Do you mean there's a planet? Okay, uh, clue. Okay. Uh, it's a planet. I thought it's something that uh, okay. Solar system in our solar system. Uh, it's not a planet. It's a dwarf planet. Sorry, it's a dwarf oh, okay. Planet. All right. Pluto. Maybe you can explain it. Uh, you know, I, I I'm seeing like a, a heart uh, on the in the planet there. Okay. It's Pluto. <laughs> it's Pluto. Okay. Yeah, I got it right. I got it right. <laughs> it's Pluto. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, well, this you got Pluto me there. <laughs> is um is uh, the, I, I, th it's, uh, I thought the Pluto is the shape. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. Continue. Okay. I I want to hear your perspective first. <laughs> okay, no, I don't know because uh, you know, I I feel bad for Pluto. They 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 were categorized as a dwarf planet, and uh, because you know, ever since that day, I, I envisioned Pluto's shape to be slightly awkwardly, uh, not so spherical like that. So maybe maybe I, <laughs> uh, I you know, when I see it, I I couldn't. Uh, I suppose it's uh, you know, uh, they call it um, <laughs> conditioning your mind, right? So when I saw <laughs> yeah. that, I it didn't register as a, but it is almost sp spherical in that sense. It's actually nice. spherical, okay. and it's uh, it's uh, a dwarf planet, but it doesn't suit the um, like 
the inner planet is terrestrial, right? And the yeah. outer planet is a gaseous planet. Mm -hmm. So Pluto doesn't fit the doesn't fit the characteristics. So yeah. that's one of the reason why it is uh, got tendang out of a, wow. out of the. Uh, that's planet. nice. You have like a heart there. You put on the on the painting there. Yeah, it's the it, the surface of Pluto. Actually, the latest surface um, captured by Voyager uh -huh. um, shows that Pluto actually has this um, heart shaped surface. And in this painting, I made it. Uh, I color. I use um, this like Doctor Cyan Proctor. She's using okay, metallic. Okay. Yeah, this yeah. one is metallic. Ah, the gold, see, uh, metallic gold. I'm trying to make it has uh, make the Pluto look uh, like it has a heart of gold. You know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so this this um painting actually has a meaning because uh, I hardly take commission, but this one this commission is very special okay. because it is for a loved one, okay. a loved one. So this one comes with a poem. This painting uh -huh. comes with a poem. Oh, well, you are so, also a cosmic a po poet. <laughs> how, 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 how do you say? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm a cos. I, I also write cosmic poems. Okay, all right. Yeah, so for this, uh, some of my paintings, it comes along with poems. Oh, I okay. made a lot of poems, uh, uh, cosmic poems. I started as a poet before I become a okay. uh, space artist. So I okay. write cosmic poems first. Oh, okay. So yeah. uh, are your poems, uh, you know, uh, you know, Louis Bassa, I do it in Malay because, you know, Malay can be, the language can be more beautiful than English, right? In that sense. Or well, it depends because I'm more as um, more comfortable in English, so usually oh, okay, I right. can write poems in English. It also uh, usually related with astrophysics, cosmology. Like oh, if you okay. look at my if you if you read my poems, it is more to astrophysics and cosmology. Meanwhile, my art is more to dark sky and astronomy. I see. Wow. Yeah. Wow. We 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 really getting to know a lot about uh, uh, the person that you are, the artist that you are. Amazing. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. thanks for the more you that, talk you know? to me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, uh, so now uh, let's uh did we cover oh this this art piece? Um let me see. Maybe you like to explain this nice purplish, you know, like oh, okay, you know, I didn't know that like, the sky you can get uh, some purple uh, you know interpretation in that in that sense. Yeah, because um based on the picture I captured, um uh -huh. it has uh, this purplish color. Uh, but I usually artists they like to emphasize their colors, right? Okay. Um, like if you know um a bit about astrophotography, some some astrophotographers they like to oversaturate the 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 sky, uh, the sky which makes it look unrealistic. So I okay. I love to see um astrophotography with this uh, beautiful natural lighting. This uh, when when the astrophotographers they edit the pictures, it makes mm -hmm. it look more natural. However, an artist, <laughs> an artist <laughs> they they. they exaggerate things it is more okay. beautiful if you exaggerate the colors back then i, I also see. very rigid about the colors like if it's um grayish you should make it grayish but as okay. actually you don't have to do that just like in this painting okay it yeah, doesn't okay. really look purple but okay. since in that saturated image has mm. a little bit of purple the artist will you know capture that ah gotcha purple so I make it more purple in this painting. Yeah, I, I, I know because uh, Bostami, he, he designs our posters. We had a Venus run and he made the planet more orange. Like, hey, I, I didn't know, you know. <laughs> so, you know, I, I, you know, I, I respect the artist's interpretation and you know how they, they sort of uh, highlight certain things. And, you know, this picture is like really nice and population you know, is, is really nice, you know. <laughs> I'm so glad you like this one. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm so glad you like this one. <laughs> Yeah, because you know, there's I, a lot, you know. Yeah, for for the for the viewers at home, you know, you can go, uh, you know, where's the, the we will share just now, Sri Kandi Angkasa. There's a lot of art pieces, so you can click on it. I'm not sure there's a game. I think you can you need to choose something like 13, then you can get a certificate. But I, I didn't yeah. know how to do it. Uh, something. So you know, it's it's good that the planetarium is promoting this, and this is the the last piece that we'll share. You know, and oh. uh, it's uh, wow. I I I'm trying to figure out. Uh, is it somewhere on Earth or out there or where, where is this? Huh? Oh. Where, where did this idea wow. come from? <laughs> okay. So this this dark, under, dark. Under, under the title Dark Sky, right? Yes. Yes, it is. Well, it looks uh -huh. abstract, right, Captain? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it looks abstract. But it's actually um, a view uh, of Earth from ISS. So I combine oh. with... Yeah. So you need Earth I see. and the clouds. It looks mm -hmm. like it's moving 
which you mm-hmm. can see the movement of the clouds and uh-huh. you can see the yellow dots are actually light pollution okay. from earth i see okay okay yeah you can see the light pollution there yeah yeah and yeah. i'm just saying that in this painting we're on uh-huh. earth we uh-huh. are the only ones who uh those who live in city in mm-hmm. heavily light polluted area those mm-hmm. people they are actually trapped in this very small bubble when the milky way above in the painting it's above it's just it's there no matter what happen no matter what you do no matter how much light you you illuminate uh your <laughs> surroundings you are the only one who cannot see the milky way the milky way is just going to be there just majestically adorn the night sky yeah. the universe and if you cannot see it you are the one who's missing out <laughs> Amazing because you know I was like you know that 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 piece really intrigued me like you know like, oh, what is this you know so when you mention ISS now it, it comes to me wow amazing <laughs> <laughs> well I love to I love to hear your perspective on this uh, painting like I I like your question like what is this it looks like uh, is it here is it out there you know what I really love to to hear that to listen to oh. the questions oh. and when I explain it and it just like enlighten them like oh yeah. wow amazing oh, that's it that's how it is that that's the thing no, i like to make that with my art uh, um maybe because um i i love uh, realistic paintings like mm-hmm. hyper realistic paintings mm-hmm. maybe a part of it because i can't do hyper realistic mm-hmm. painting so i since i cannot do it um for now i i am mm-hmm. not i'm incapable of uh, making hyper realistic paintings so i i do i make um this abstract more to abstract so that's why and you can see the beauty in abstract as well because yes, my yes. painting can be people can see it as realistic but they can also see it in uh, abstract so mm-hmm. a lot of things going on in their mind oh, i love yeah. that <laughs> <laughs> so that does it take a lot of, of, of your time away uh, you know uh, from your family or from your work you know doing this this hard work does, does it or oh, it does it you know consume you you know it takes a lot of time or you know it, it, uh, uh, maybe it, that would be like the the one of few we're going we're gonna come to the last uh, few questions almost an hour and mm-hmm. you know uh, maybe you can share that with the viewers maybe they can get a certain understanding well as as you know that i'm juggling two things not just being a full-time educator i'm also okay. a space artist and also dark sky advocate mm-hmm. so yeah of course, art is time consuming. It's energy art. consuming. But you know what? Um, I think it is like a therapy. Art is oh, therapy okay. for me. I'm not making it as something like stressful. Because I know that when like you don't you won't like it when you are stressed, right? <laughs> you won't yeah, like yeah. it. So I treat it as a therapy. Like I'm so stressed. Yeah. I, I'm I'm doing my work, all these things. And so I, I just want to take a break. I go paint. Okay. I treat it as a as a way for me to de-stress, you know, just relax, unwind. And um, there are some days I would work seriously on it, especially on okay. the project, uh, the the project. But uh, I just take it as a process of learning. Yeah, it is time consuming, but mm-hmm. I'm actually very. What do you say? I I cannot do the <laughs> I, okay, I all right. Uh, salut I, cannot, la. <laughs> yeah, I must do something. I must do something. I will work. I will wake up early because I think that I gotta start my day with doing something okay. that I love. Maybe do work okay. and then do something that I love. Okay, <laughs> I just, understand, like, understand. Very high energy. <laughs> okay, okay, I see. <laughs> that's good. That's good to to know. So do you do do you do like uh because I saw uh, you have a promotion for a uh, Galaxy Run, right? So you, you're promoting that. Yeah. You do. You, are you yourself a runner? I I like to jog, but oh, okay, right. back then I was a sprinter. Yes, I was sprinter. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not really much <laughs> of a long distance run. Don't have to say you're back then. You can still be a runner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, I am. Okay. Uh, okay. But nowadays I just I just like to jog because that I, I don't know where to to sprint anymore. Okay. <laughs> like that, I I I always um um like just you know join this uh, sprint uh. Constance will know what I'm talking about because oh, okay. uh, she's my college mate. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, I like the sprint. Yeah, so um, 
and long distance not really much uh, oh. of my thing but i can do it <laughs> because okay, i love okay. I, i practically love sports i love sports i love diving i love swimming i love snorkeling constant <laughs> there's a message from him he says that uh, your nickname is batman in you need to be bad woman <laughs> Because my lecturer called me Batman. I wear this big to black to dome. All right. Run. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's been a very good session. Unfortunately, you know, we come to the end of the hour, and um, maybe uh, before we go, um, oh, woman. Okay. Uh, before we go, we'll share some of your uh, for for those that want to follow you. Uh, your social media channels are all the same, right? Uh, this is on Instagram, yeah. Shaira Stargazer, also Facebook at uh, uh, Shaira Stargazer. If you want to, con- so we just direct message you. We, we you know, we want yeah. uh, to work on a, an artwork, you know, with you. Uh, do you do, you know, like a like a special request, or you know, you say no because you know certain artists. Uh, I give you what what I I'm working on, or does, do they have like influence over your artwork? Says. If somebody has a special you know request or something like that how does it work well um i'm actually um like the later one you said um mm-hmm. i will sell what i work on but oh, there okay. are some cases i would take commissions mm-hmm. like this one is a commission work because mm-hmm. it is very special i i okay. and i enjoy working on it mm-hmm. uh, because um usually the commissioner will uh will follow my idea oh, okay. instead of them <laughs> telling me what to draw i will tell them Oh, you want to make uh, for for your um your wife? Okay, I, I suggest you do it. And they were oh okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's how it works with me actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> People right. follow my idea. <laughs> and uh, me doing things I like. <laughs> okay. okay, and uh, any last words? You know, uh, you know, for for Malaysians out there, uh, you know, how how do you think the public can get involved in advancing the space sector? Maybe some last word of advice before we end the show. It's been, you know, a very uh, fun session with you. Uh, maybe your 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 parting words to to Malaysians out there or viewers that's watching this uh, show. Well, I I want to say that um, first of all, thank you very much for listening, and um, yeah, <laughs> constant, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um, I want uh, people to like everyone not to um, give up on their passion because okay. that passion, uh, your passion make you who you are actually because when you have passion it, it doesn't have to be something very deep it just have to be your hobby or maybe um uh, for you to distress right but uh, make sure that it is um benefits you okay. and benefits others as well True. and um if you love arts and if you uh love astronomy if you love science do pursue in making a piece of art that you love that related to science give your arts more meaning by combining it with science and uh, okay. astronomy well sometimes arts doesn't have to have meaning right true, but true. if you want to make it uh, more meaningful uh has a scientific theory behind it yeah we can uh you can um you know just discuss with me Or okay. you can hit uh, hit me up uh, in my DM. Okay, so. yeah, that's that's your your <laughs> yeah. uh, your your website, right? Uh, Shaira um, Stargazer like Blogspot. Uh, Blogspot is actually um, I, I'm not really into Blogspot anymore, but uh, oh, okay, Canvas sorry. to Cosmos. <laughs> Canvas okay. to Cosmos dot com. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I didn't get that that uh, because when I, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you know, you inspired okay. me, and I, I will start, I will evolve from drawing trees to try to draw the the night sky. Yes, I I would love to see your illustration on the you know aurora and you okay, going okay. through it. Oh, that would be epic! Inshallah, Inshallah, I, I will try to on it. <laughs> All right, and you know awesome. on behalf of uh, Astro X, also Space View, uh, thank you so much for you know your time, especially you know it's dinner time. Uh, I hope you had your dinner. I think I think you did right. So. Yeah. Uh, you know, to all the viewers, thank you very much for joining us, and you know, we really appreciate uh, your time. And uh, do tune in for more programs and you know, uh, webinar sessions from Astrox as well as uh, Space uh, View. And thank you very much, uh, Shaira, for you know, entertaining me. You know, I, I can be you know, <laughs> a bit chatty. Hey, I'm glad to, <laughs> thank to you so much. You. Yes, and you know, I hope that you you do well. Uh, and you know you progress further uh, in being an artist and discover yourself more 
and get your pieces out there. I'm very interested to see more. And to the viewers, please go uh, to srikandiangkasa.com and uh, you know check out the uh, virtual exhibition. It's very interesting. Now we have, I think due to the pandemic, right? We have this yeah. virtual uh, kind of exhibition. All right. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, with that, uh, we'd like to say good night. And uh, thank you for joining us. Bye. Good night. Thank good you. Bye-bye, everyone. <laughs>